A virtual online game called Strange Era has arrived in reality, causing chaos in the world and turning various regions into eerie regions. Each person plays a different identity, guides the game, and gains a variety of rule features. Develop strategy paths based on exclusive talents and different career paths players draw exclusive talents every month and open a random ranking. Only the top scorer can inherit last month's exclusive talent. What? The worst career start in hell difficulty. Encounter the most difficult dungeon in prehistory. Sorry. Take turns sitting on the leaderboard, but the first one is definitely mine. At the moment the game started, Cheater Chinyi chose a completely different strategy path, subverting everyone's imagination. Keywords of the novel. Eerie Era. One exclusive talent per month without pop-ups, Eerie Era. One exclusive talent per month. Download the complete TXT collection, Eerie Era. One exclusive talent per month. Latest chapter reading. Chapter 1. The Strange Era Comes. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 1. The Strange Era Comes, There is Still One Last Day Until the Countdown. Dear residents of Linjiang City, please believe that we will have a beautiful tomorrow. This is just a game. When the countdown ends, what we welcome is not the end, but a new beginning. Everyone must be full of hope and strive to live on. In Linjiang City, Every morning at 7 o'clock, everyone opens their eyes to the familiar sound of broadcasting. At this point, as long as someone looks out the window, they can see a round of blood-colored text hanging above the sky, 23.59.59. The blood-colored text is like a dark cloud about to collapse, oppressing the entire sky of Linjiang City, like a sword of judgment that is about to fall and proclaim the fate of everyone's death. Ah. Uh, Yes, yes. The future tomorrow is when you open your eyes and you'll see this damn thing. Is the new beginning that everyone is going to heaven. In a small rental house of only about 30 square meters, Chen Yi crossed his legs and faced the computer in front of him, shaking his head and smiling. On the screen, a simple text document is displayed, similar to a timetable, recording recent important events, on October 31, 2014. A virtual game called Strange Era officially began public testing. With a theme of eerie, perfect CG graphics, and disruptive professional gameplay, it became popular worldwide on December 1, 2014, the Black Sun incident occurred, and an island in the East China Sea was within the range of the Black Sun, causing a global disappearance. This was the first scene of the CG screen in the game Strange Era on December 3, 2014. The CG footage of The Strange Age continuously descended upon reality, officially entering the Strange Age, with about one third of people disappearing and causing global panic on December 15, 2014. A bloody countdown appeared over Linjiang City, isolating the entire city from the outside world. Media methods such as internet and telephone were limited to the urban area. Linjiang City fell into chaos and after a month of turmoil, it barely regained order. In addition, communication with the outside world has been completely cut off, and the rest of the world is unknown on April 1, 2015, the countdown marks its final day the event book has ended here. The last line of text, that's exactly what Chin Yi just typed on today. He gazed at the blood-colored words in the sky and murmured to himself. Is it finally about to start? Today is the last day of the blood countdown. Many experts have made various speculations about this, but when the countdown is completely over, no one knows what it will all be like. The growth of life always starts with parting, facing countless, last moments. At the moment when the countdown to blood appeared, the people of the entire city believed that their last moment in life had arrived. Their hearts were shattered and hopeless, the world was destroyed, there was no hope, the whole city was in chaos, and everyone was crazy. But after such a long time, this countdown has unconsciously accompanied the people here for almost four months. Many people have become accustomed to this. The order in Linjiang City is gradually returning to normal. 
people find themselves unable to connect with humans outside the city center. Cities have created huge barriers like boundaries, covering the entire sky and earth. Even airplanes and rockets cannot leave here but by mobilizing the power of the entire city, order can still be stabilized and daily life can be considered secure. I can make do with my life. At least, I won't die for the time being, I can still live. From the apocalyptic turmoil that appeared at the beginning of the countdown, to witnessing the chaos of the entire city, and then to calmness in just a few months, Chen Yi has almost read through all the various forms of human life. Now, he quietly watched as the countdown approached its final day, feeling calm inside. It seems like countless days and nights, facing a series of desperate countdowns, knowing that life is hopeless. This state may seem like a breakdown at first, but gradually becomes accustomed to it and there are no more waves in the heart. The only regret is Chen Yi is not a local of Linjiang City, but a recent college graduate. He is addicted to virtual games and has less interaction with his classmates, making it rare for him to have friends in the real world. During my four years in college, I spent almost all of my life alone, wandering around and only occasionally going back to reunite with my family during the Chinese New Year. However, Chen Yi, who had just graduated, was planning to go home to visit his parents whom he had not seen for a long time, but the countdown appeared. He remained silent for a moment, then took out his phone and attempted to send a text message for the last time. Dear parents, I am your most precious son Chen Yi. The eerie era has descended on the world, and the information about Linjiang City cannot be sent out. I have never been able to contact you, and I wonder if you are still alive. Nowadays, Linjiang City is stuck in a countdown event, and many people are very desperate. But so far, my physical health has not been a problem, and since I was a beta user of Strange Era before and had played this game, I am not afraid of the event of the game coming into reality. I even have confidence in breaking through this terrible game. If you're okay, please don't worry about me. After typing this paragraph, Chen Yi carefully checked it several times and then clicked the send button. After a brief seconds of transmission, the information a bright red exclamation mark appeared. Sending failed. Regarding this, Chen Ye's gaze was calm. Since the countdown incident, all communication methods in Linjiang City have been unable to reach the outside world. On the last attempt, what I wanted to say still couldn't be conveyed. But Chen Yi felt lucky. He has seen too many separations in these months. At least after being cut off from the outside world, my parents are still in my heart, and there is still hope for the future. Chen Yi put aside unnecessary negative emotions, and his calm gaze revealed more determination. He is not afraid of the end of the countdown. Many experts have analyzed various information and intelligence before that when a region falls into the eerie era, the people there are actually not dead. Because once a region falls into the eerie era, it will hover above the sky and transform into a huge screen projection. Like blood-colored text, people can look up and see the image on the huge screen. Some people who were originally missing have shown signs of activity on the screen. So, many people speculate that when the countdown ends, it is very likely that everyone will not die, but enter the game of Strange Age. But this game is no longer virtual reality, but real reality. Players do not have an exit button. Chen Ye's heart was actually more excited and hopeful about this. He eliminated all useless social time during his four years in college, almost entirely immersed himself in virtual online games, and became a well.known online gaming guru. One year before the public beta of The Strange Era, Chen Yi was given a spot for internal beta testing. The quota is only a few hundred people. He is one of the few cheaters in the world besides the staff who developed the game Strange Era. Having more sources of intelligence than others. Chen Yi knows that this game is mainly a strategy game that focuses on selecting, collecting, and strategizing dungeons. Players need to collect features from the Strange Era to become increasingly powerful monsters in order to strengthen themselves and obtain higher survival space. Of course, in order to increase randomness, 
there will be significant differences in the initial identities, items, and talents obtained by each player. Based on the obtained identity, items, and talents, formulating the next strategy and steadily developing is the secret to constantly surviving and upgrading. As long as I can pass this game, maybe I can leave here and also gain the ability to protect my family. Chen Yi silently said in his heart. At this point, he closed his eyes and recalled the various details of the strange era in his mind. The massive settings, complex feature applications, and strategic routes continuously transforming into fleeting shadows, shining like a kaleidoscope before my eyes. When you open your eyes again, the sky has completely darkened. That string of blood-colored text only has a few minutes left. Countdown. Three minutes. Two minutes, one minute. Zero at this moment, the bloody text in the sky suddenly spewed out, transforming into a bloody curtain that immediately covered the entire city. The field of vision suddenly turned dark. It seems to have become a land without light. I can't see anything. In the darkness. Chen Yi suddenly felt a strong sense of heaviness coming from his body, accompanied by countless cries and cries in his ears. His consciousness gradually disappeared and eventually seemed to turn into nothingness I don't know how long it has been. Finally, a bright light pierced through the darkness, awakening consciousness once again. In a hazy moment, Chen Yi saw the center of the light curtain, where a blood-colored text slowly reflected in his eyes, Welcome to the Eerie Era, end of this chapter. Chapter 2 Characteristics of Wanderers You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 2 Characteristics of Wanderers When the blood-colored text was reflected in Chin Ye's pupils, he felt that his ability to control his body was gradually recovering. In the hazy view, a mobile phone slowly appeared next to Chin Ye. The blood-colored text is located at the center of the phone screen, bright red and almost flowing out of the screen. Mobile Phone Chen Yi struggled to get up, wanting to pick up the blood-colored phone next to him. But as soon as he reached out his hand, he suddenly froze. I saw my hands becoming more slender, my skeleton shrinking, and my palms shrinking a circle. Although my skin was not particularly fair, my skin texture was good, and I was obviously not very old. He lowered his head and found that his body had undergone a transformation into a teenage physique. Wearing a linen short shirt, the sleeves of the clothes were completely torn, with only the short sleeve on the right barely covering the arm, no different from a vest. The shorts from the bottom to one dot third of the thighs had several large holes, and the thin thighs were not much thicker than the calves. The leg shape was like a line. This outfit, I'm afraid it's not like a beggar on the roadside would burst into tears. Traverse. Or is it the initial template character for the game? Chen Yi muttered to himself, but after several months of magical experience, he had become accustomed to the changes in himself and then picked up his blood-colored phone on the ground. Upon opening it, I saw a crimson screen, followed by rows of rules emerging one after another, Dear player, congratulations on living into the eerie era. Please read the game rules carefully. 1. Players are requested to play according to their identity, as different identities will result in different characteristics. 2. The priority of features will be flexibly adjusted based on their sequence, eerie values, and different situations. Features are not omnipotent, but without them, it is absolutely impossible. 3. Any transaction follows the principle of equivalent exchange, and players can confidently use the initial item. Blood phone, to trade with other players, exchange for items and intelligence. For each player will initially receive a random identity and a monthly opportunity to draw exclusive talents. 5. After completing the game, there is a chance to obtain different identities, characteristics, spiritual items. Increasing personal assets. Only brave individuals can become the winners of this game. 6. The Eerie Era will open different types of binding rankings every month. The higher the ranking, the richer the rewards. Warm Reminder The player who wins the first place can inherit this month's exclusive talent and unlock a super-rich gift package. 
The first two rules were already familiar to Chin Yi when he was a beta player for a long time. The core gameplay of the Eerie Era In the game, everyone will assume a specific identity and gain rule characteristics. These characteristics are not only the fundamental principles for survival in the Eerie Era, but also the main path to strength. But after the third rule, there is newly added content after the arrival. Chen Ye's gaze fell on the blood-colored phone in his hand, and his heart twitched slightly. I have never seen this blood-colored phone before, and it comes with a viewing panel function. It should be the initial item bound to the player. From the appearance, the blood-colored phone has a strong sense of error. Similar to the elderly phone, it is a flip phone with a shiny metal shell that exudes an indestructible feeling. In addition, it has a smartphone body. Holding it in hand, it is simply an excellent brick. Maybe it can still be used as a melee weapon. Turn on the flip machine and use the buttons below to complete all basic operations. After Chen Yi became familiar with the operation, he quickly exited the rule explanation interface and returned to the main menu. He found that the blood-colored phone was still divided into several major modules, personal information, strange interface, information tips, monthly ranking, among them, the prompts sent by the blood-colored mobile phone are included in the information prompt. Chen Ye's mind twitched slightly and clicked on personal information, player. Chen Ye identity. Wanderer, feature. Non-spiritual object. Non-personal assets. Zero coins title halo. Non-exclusive talent. To be extracted strange value. One game clearance. Zero Chen Ye's gaze fell on his current identity, wanderers, this should be the initial unlocked identity. Next to it, there is also an option for note explanation. After clicking on it, there is a striking introduction to the characteristics of wanderer, poor eyes. The look you look up it comes with a mocking effect. It's best not to stare at others for a long time, otherwise you will receive an angry beating. Luck When wandering, it is easy to obtain special luck, and the more you walk on foot, the more you can get good luck. Wandering Heart When in contact with fellow wanderers, it is easy to receive friendly help. The beginning wanderer, this luck is really lacking. Chen Yi could not help but murmur in his heart. During the testing of the Eerie Era, Chen Yi tried various openings and had a lot of information about each identity in his mind. However, he has played hundreds of starts, and no identity is more difficult than a wanderer. There was hardly any normal person in the entire Eerie Era. It's all weird. And with the characteristic of being a wanderer, it is already very humble, and any trick has the ability to kill itself. In addition, the gaze has a self-deprecating effect, which is equivalent to lifting your head, and it will bring you fatal consequences. In a world full of mysteries, I'm afraid one more glance will explode. As for the other two features in fact. It is also difficult to achieve results. Although the characteristics related to luck have always been relatively high. End, the concept of luck for wanderers is very vague. The more you walk, the better you can get good luck but. It's hard to say exactly where this luck is. In addition, the third characteristic can receive help from those who are also homeless, but such an existence usually has a low status and can bring very little help to oneself. I don't know where to find it yet. Therefore, the identity of a wanderer can be said to be filled with negative effects, but the positive effects are very abstract and I don't know how to play. It's almost the beginning of hell difficulty. Hiss, does this dog system recognize that I am an beta player, so I intentionally increased the difficulty. The beginning of a profession at the difficulty level of hell. This is really enough to look up to me. Chen Ye's mouth twitched slightly, but he wasn't too discouraged. His gaze fell on the exclusive talent to be extracted. Besides identity, exclusive talents are also important. If we can get a better identity, then we can turn the tables. My talent for this month has not been drawn yet. Wait. If I take advantage of the characteristics of wanderer and walk for a whole day before drawing talents, will I gain good luck? 
Chen Yi suddenly seemed to have discovered a new continent, and his eyes suddenly lit up. End of this chapter Chapter 3 Good and Deceptive Citizens You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 3 Good Strange Citizen That's Right This game is aimed at players who are beta testers and may intentionally increase the difficulty in secret. At the beginning, it was as lucky as a non-chieftain however, the homeless are precisely related to luck. As for whether to draw exclusive talents, it depends on Chen Yi himself. But no matter what time point you choose, players will automatically draw other exclusive talents next month, which is May 1st for ordinary players, draw early and enjoy early. However, Chen Yi felt that his luck was not quite right at the beginning. Moreover, since the characteristics of a wanderer can accumulate luck, it's better to keep them for the future. Even if exclusive talents can only be retained for a month, if better talents can be drawn, it will also help oneself to strive for a higher ranking and accumulate more features in strange age. Just like rolling a snowball, if you can ensure that you get more resources in the early stages, then the resources in the later stages will have stronger competitiveness. Think of it here. Chen Yi does not intend to immediately draw, but rather to leverage the characteristics of a wanderer and start by traveling thousands of miles. Looking around, this is a dark alley, with a deep night falling on the earth. Only by using the light source of a blood-colored phone can one see the surrounding environment clearly. This place looks like an abandoned slum, with potholes on the ground and roads filled with garbage. Nearby shops have already closed down and no one is interested. After a long period of weathering, the shop signs were blown off and half collapsed, creating a disastrous scene. On the other side of the low-tiled house, there was a faint sound of cars honking their horns, and the neon light source of the night city dyed the outside sky red, as if a faint mist of blood was lingering in the night sky. Chen Yi walked outward along the small alley, and as the view ahead became brighter, a light source appeared in front of him, which was an overpass. Longhua Avenue. Chen Yi couldn't help but be slightly taken aback. From the corridors of the surrounding shops, he recognized that this was still the familiar city of Linjiang. Just. When I walked out, the street was very deserted. There are even fewer vehicles in normal times than when the blood countdown appears. In the distance, it was faintly visible that a few scattered pedestrians were scattered on both sides of the overpass, slowly walking towards the bridgehead. Their behavior appeared stiff, like a manipulated doll walking on the road like walking corpses. At this moment, a pockmarked man passed by Chen Ye's side. His actions were the same as those of the others, walking with a limp, his gray pupils empty in his gaze empty. But when Chen Ye's gaze fell on the man next second, he suddenly glared angrily at Chen Ye, making a harsh grinding sound in his mouth, as if he was about to pounce at any moment. The man's face gradually developed cracks, splitting into pieces of flesh resembling melon slices, centered around his nose, gradually opening up like a blooming flower of blood. Kaka Kaka. Not long after, his entire face was completely shattered, and the cracked flesh and blood danced into the air like willow catkins that gave life, stretching towards the six sides. Each willow catkin is half a meter long and comes with a row of sharp teeth. If it is completely wrapped, it can almost swallow a person's upper body in one bite. Chen Yi only felt a cold feeling rushing towards the sky. However, he quickly took a deep breath and suppressed his inner fear with a strong will. His mind became clear and calm, and he quickly shifted his gaze away from the pockmarked man. Generally speaking, when facing extreme fear, people will be greatly frightened and their eyes will be fixed on the source of danger, unable to move away. But Chen Yi remembers very clearly in his heart, the gaze of the wanderer carries a mocking effect. If you stare at others for a long time, it will completely anger other strange things. The key is, for a long time. If you retract your gaze in a timely manner, the anger from the source of danger will subside and you generally won't harm yourself casually. As expected. After Chen Yi withdrew his gaze, the pockmarked man stopped in place, tilted his head, as if feeling somewhat bewildered by his sudden anger. 
The next second, the flesh and blood petals on his face gradually closed and reassembled to form the head of the pockmarked man. He gently pressed his index finger against the temples on both sides, making a movement to straighten his head. He waited until his neck and mind had completely stabilized before stepping out of his legs and continuing to limp. Throughout the entire process, the pockmarked man didn't even glance at Chen Yi. The chilling killing intent he had just shown disappeared without a trace, as if he was just passing by an insignificant stranger. It's okay. What I encountered was just a relatively basic, beery era, probably just an ordinary resident. He appears to have a good temper and is a good citizen with good self-cultivation and emotional management. If it weren't for my mocking eyes, he would probably not have easily lost his temper. Chen Yi quickly retrieved the angry state from the other party, combined with the information about the eerie era in his mind, and slowly made an analysis and judgment. If you encounter a slightly irritable Mr. Goe, even if you look away in time, you will inevitably be beaten up. Subsequently he understood that his gaze could never casually fall on other residents. Even a good citizen cannot withstand the ridicule of their own characteristics, thus engaging in murderous actions against themselves. However, human instinct can easily shift one's focus to others, whether intentional or unintentional. Chen Yi thought for a moment and decided to limit himself with a good habit, lower your head and play with your phone. He took out his blood-colored phone, his gaze fixed on the screen, so that his attention was completely drawn to the phone and he wouldn't casually see pedestrians on the roadside. Apart from personal information, there are also bizarre forums and this month's rankings that have not been clicked on. Chen Yi thought for a moment and then clicked on the strange forum to see what discussion content was there. After opening the strange forum, it is also divided into three sub-areas, destiny in the Jianghu, wind, flower, snow and moon, strange black market, among them, Destiny Jianghu is actually a large chat public screen, where everyone can send messages and chat on it. Click inside and take a look. Good guy. Inside are all a large number of scrolling messages, with nearly hundreds of messages popping up every second. Almost all of them represent coming to the dungeon for the first time, complaining about the dangers encountered, or expressing a cry of despair. If the author of the online article were to write it, it would probably take several chapters worth of words. Chen Yi looked at the frantic scrolling of words on the screen and couldn't help but think of the online novel he had stayed up late to read before falling. He joked in his heart and then closed the chat window. At present, the entire chat screen is filled with players who have just arrived at the eerie era. The content they send is mostly cries for help, screams, and complaints, filled with negative energy. Even if there is a very small amount of valuable information, it takes a long time to browse and find. Chen Yi does not intend to waste time browsing worthless information. Click on, wind, flower, snow, moon. This is a post-like area, although there are many players sending help messages here, the number is not as crazy as the scrolling public screen. Pulling down, you can still see a few valuable posts, brothers, have your bodies undergone wonderful changes. Never go to that cake shop on West Street. Linjiang University alumni, come and form a team. End of this chapter. Chapter 4. Monthly Rankings. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 4. Monthly Rankings Chen Yi seriously clicked on the first post and found that the content inside was originally about a dramatic change in appearance after the game started. The following content indicates that they all have the same situation. Some people also say that even if family and friends stand in front of them, they can no longer recognize them. After the beginning of the City of Fate, everyone gained a new identity in the initial stage, and even their appearance became completely different from before. Chen Ye's heart twitched slightly as he remembered the pockmarked man he had met by the bridge before. Obviously, not everyone in this city has become a player, many of which may be inherent quirks in the game. After everyone's appearance changed, it was impossible to distinguish who was human and who was mysterious. Chen Ye flipped down and someone said they saw other players running into some places in a panic. 
when they came out, they became like walking corpses. Everyone in the post was frightened, and dozens of posts were asking about the specific situation. The poster was extremely panicked in his heart. How dare he stay in place and check what the situation was. How far you run is how far. Everyone is very anxious in their hearts, facing unfamiliar situations, they are eager to know the specific situation. Chinyi pondered for a moment, feeling clear in his heart. This guy probably got into the game and was tricked by the despicable indigenous people. Assimilate into a mysterious part. No place in the eerie era can be entered casually. Those seemingly ordinary shops are actually considered high difficulty dungeons for novice players. If you accidentally violate the rules in the store, it is equivalent to a game failure. The outcome is direct death. Some shops still need to have corresponding characteristics to enter, otherwise stepping into one step will declare a doomed outcome. The blood countdown is indeed just the beginning. At this moment, the game has officially started. If I die here, it should really be over. Chen Yi took a deep breath and then closed the post. Now. Many players are searching for their loved ones around them, willing to post their identities and eager to get help. For example, at Linjiang University where Chen Yi studied, some people posted to find alumni. Most of the students in the group are from outside the city, and without the help of relatives in Linjiang, they can only find classmates they know to join the group. Faced with unfamiliar and dangerous environments, having acquaintances nearby can somewhat increase a sense of security. Chen Yi did not join, he knew that according to the rules of the Eerie Era, the significance of forming a group was not significant. Moreover, since ancient times, people's hearts have been unpredictable. In times of peace, everyone can maintain friendliness, but when faced with a life or death crisis, who can guarantee not to betray others? Opening the post at the West Street Cake Shop, I found that the poster had also encountered a similar deadly game, there is a cake shop on West Street that says free tasting, dot. But don't go over there, everyone. I have a friend who went there and ate the food. As a result, he suddenly became like he didn't know me and became an employee inside, looking very strange. I have obtained his blood-colored mobile phone address book friend, tried sending a message, and asked what the situation was. But the message that pops up on the blood-colored phone shows that my friend has died. Even across the screen, other netizens under the post can feel the despair and fear in the poster's heart. Even though a living person was standing in front of him like this, it turned out that the other person had already died. The posts below almost exclusively express fear, some of whom are already afraid to randomly identify their husbands on the forum. Ah. Uh, take a closer look. It seems there are still male users. What a mess. Chen Yi let out a sigh in his heart. Currently, players from the entire city have already descended into the game of the Eerie Era. But not everyone has played the Strange Era and lacks awareness of this dangerous world. It can be imagined that a large number of players will definitely be eliminated by the rules at the beginning. The Eerie Era follows the principle of equivalent exchange, where free is the most expensive. At the beginning, these cute newcomers didn't understand the true meaning of the rules, thinking that having free food to eat would at least fill their stomachs. Just like the rescue meal when the blood countdown appears. After eating it, it will naturally be assimilated into a part of the game, from a player to an NPC, no different from dying. Chen Yi made guesses about the game rules. After the arrival of the Strange Era, in reality some places seem different from the original game and require an extra bit of vigilance. Even as an beta player, one cannot assume that all the intelligence they know is correct. The pitfalls that beginners will fall into must not be stepped upon by oneself. Subsequently, Chen Yi has opened the monthly ranking. According to the game rules of the Eerie Era, different types of rankings are launched every month. The higher the player's ranking, the richer the rewards they receive. The higher the gear, the higher the value of the reward. The first place can still inherit this month's exclusive talent. Chen Yi clicked on the ranking rules for this month, 
and a list of information popped up on his blood-colored phone. This month's ranking. Strange growth, starting from April 1st, the rules calculate the eerie growth points of all Fate City players and select the new growth king this month's bonus. 1. Playing the corresponding identity can quickly obtain eerie values. 2. Unlock achievement tasks in the unlocking stage. Upon reaching the current achievement task, rewards will be given, with a maximum duration of one month. 3. On the last three days of the month, there will be a triple increase in eerie values activity. Stay tuned. The screen of the blood-colored phone flickered again. Next up. A stage achievement task list appeared in front of Chen Yi, Wanderer Stage Task, Daily Task. Accumulate 10,000 meters of hiking, 666-10,000, Weekly Task. Accumulate 100,000 meters of hiking, 666-100000, Monthly Task. Accumulate walking distance of 1 million meters, 666-100000, originally, walking on foot can increase eerie values, but can it also unlock stage achievement tasks. Chen Yi was slightly stunned, and after realizing it, he couldn't help feeling a burst of ecstasy in his heart. Originally, the identity of a wanderer is the most difficult in the eerie era. But if we add the rules and gameplay of this month's ranking, it will be completely different. As long as you play, you can get weird points. Compared to other identities, the way wanderers need to play is very simple. Just leave and it's over. The characteristics of wanderers, combined with the increase in rules this month it can be said that Chen Yi can become stronger by walking now. Through the step counting function on the stage panel, you can also see how many steps you have accumulated. Thinking of this, Chen Yi immediately quickened his pace and walked quickly. 800 steps. 900 steps. A thousand steps. Ding. At this moment, the blood-colored phone suddenly received a message prompt. You walk one kilometer on foot, with a creepy value of plus ten. End of this chapter. Chapter 5. Extract exclusive talents for this month. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 5. Extract exclusive talents for this month opening the monthly ranking again. Chen Yi found that his ranking suddenly rose to 9,986th place. The ranking instantly entered within 10,000. You should know that the entire city of Linjiang has a population of about 2 million, and being able to rank in the top 10,000 is already one of the very few people. This is just the result of taking a few steps. Chen Yi tried to run, but found that the number of steps he took was not recorded in the list. Only hiking counts. According to the rules of the play. The living environment for homeless people is very poor, and they cannot engage in a lot of activities, which accelerates physical exhaustion. Running clearly does not conform to the rules of identity play. Therefore, Chen Yi can only control himself to walk honestly and pretend to be very down and out, otherwise walking with his head and chest high may sometimes fail. After some familiarity, Chen Yi is now able to walk out of the style of a wanderer very well. Every step is precisely within the step counting standard. This efficiency has improved significantly compared to the beginning. At this point, the blood-colored phone popped up two prompts along the way. Unconsciously, Chen Yi has walked 3,000 meters, and his eerie value has increased to 30 points. At this point, the ranking has risen from over 9,000 to below 3,500. It can be imagined that Chen Ye's pace of progress in walking as a wanderer is still very fast. After spending most of the day, Chen Yi buried his head and walked 10,000 steps all the way. The eerie value finally rose to 100 points. At this point, the ranking has reached within a thousand, and the rate of increase is like riding a small rocket. Just then, a prompt suddenly popped up on the blood-colored phone, congratulations on achieving the daily task of walking 10,000 meters reward wanderer prop. Wanderer's Boots Wanderer's Boots When wandering, reduce stamina consumption and increase speed based on eerie values. Next second. 
Chin Yi lowered his head and found an extra pair of boots on his bare feet. Paired with shorts that cover one dot third of the thighs, it appears to have slender and slender leg shapes. After walking 10,000 meters, Chen Yi originally felt some soreness in his legs and feet. But wearing these, wanderer's boots, the fatigue is instantly swept away, be yourself. Chen Yi tried to take a few steps and suddenly found that the surrounding scenery was regressing faster than usual, which surprised him. I was walking at my original speed, but it seems to have become faster. Chen Yi even doubted if this was his own illusion. His gaze fell on the nearby utility pole, and he walked nearby, intending to use it as a reference for comparison. An unexpected thing has happened. Taking a step forward, the nearby scenery quickly retreated, as if glaring at the bicycle with force, and instantly arrived at a distance of three meters. Although Chen Yi had only taken a small step forward, when he turned back again, the utility pole had already been thrown behind him. With the short legs of this body, without taking three or five steps, this effect cannot be achieved. On the panel, it is displayed that Chen Ye's walking distance has increased by three meters, which is recorded as the effective number of steps. That is to say, the function of the wanderer's boots can accelerate my hiking efficiency and reduce my physical exertion. The ability of these shoes can also improve as my eerie value increases. Chen Ye's eyes lit up and he realized that the magical effect brought by the wanderer's boots may not only have some characteristics, but also be related to the increase of his eerie value to 100 points. Reaching a hundred strange points should be a watershed. So, under the influence of eerie values, the effect of the wanderer's boots is stronger than imagined. Gollum Suddenly, a cry came from the stomach. Chen Yi frowned slightly. Although the wanderer's boots can reduce physical energy consumption, his stomach will still be hungry. It's impossible not to be hungry after walking for a whole day. Now. The source of food has become an issue. You can't walk a million meters on foot hungry, can you? Draw exclusive talents first. Chen Yi opened his personal interface, his gaze fixed on the talent of drawing. So far, the number displayed on the pedometer has reached over 10,000. Although it was not possible to travel thousands of miles, being able to walk such a long distance in a day is not bad. I haven't encountered anything lucky yet as for the wanderer's boots, it has nothing to do with luck. The stage reward is within the rules and has already been set, so it naturally has nothing to do with luck. Accumulated 10,000 steps of luck, maybe something good will happen. As the saying goes, things will turn around when they reach their extreme getting a hell-level profession for the wanderer at the beginning was originally unlucky at that time. If Chin Yi chooses to draw professional talents at the initial time, it is likely to happen to be in line with bad luck. When unlucky, if you are unwilling to continue to spend money and draw cards, it is highly likely to be even more unlucky but if you activate the characteristics of the wanderer and walk for a period of time, there may be a miraculous effect of turning things upside down. If you were to draw this month's exclusive talent at this time, there might be an unexpected surprise. With this in mind, Chen Yi opened his personal interface without hesitation. Do you want to draw this month's talents? Yes. Chen Yi made a decisive choice. When he made a choice with his heart in mind, the talent list displayed as, to be drawn, immediately turned into scrolling gibberish in the past five minutes, a brand new talent appeared in the talent section. Congratulations on drawing your April talent. The Eye of Chi Luck, Function. 1. Open the Eye of Chi and you will be able to see the specific aura of the item. Observing the Earth's meridian fortune, you will be able to see the flow of the earth or the aura surrounding a fixed location the ring of chi luck is divided into black, white, blue, yellow, purple, red, glass. Gold black represents the image of evil energy white is an ordinary image blue is the image of creation yellow represents wealth and prosperity purple is the symbol of tingda red represents the image of blood light glass is an extraordinary image gold is the symbol of destiny. Note. Different signs of chi luck may be intertwined and ever dot changing. 
Players are advised to explore the specific meanings represented by the signs of Chi Luck on their own. Open your eyes again. This world is reflected in Chen Ye's eyes and has undergone earth-shattering changes. Countless lines of luck, like faint clouds and mist, surround everywhere. As if embellishing this world like oil paintings. Chen Yi looked up and noticed that the aura swirling around his head was gradually transforming from glass to white. Is it my natural talent to draw the Qi Qi Tong that depleted today's Qi, transforming from glass to white? Lioli corresponds to an extraordinary image. I just had the talent to draw the eye of Qi, and so far, it seems that this talent is quite impressive. Surprisingly, one can see the changes in fortune. Combining the characteristics of the wanderer, the setting of getting better luck with walking no longer becomes abstract, but can see the specific form through the pupils of Qi. Chen Ye's gaze fell on the side and he found himself at the intersection, each leading to three different streets. Each street presents a different image of luck. Looking west, a faint mist of blood extended from the street all the way, with black mist steaming out at the end. From a distance, the western suburbs are a heavy industrial factory, with a dim sky, as if the area is devoid of sunlight all year round. Looking east, a white mist-like cloud layer continued to extend along Longhua Avenue, where Chin Yi had walked all the way. Looking north, from the adjacent overpass to the old city area, a faint blue light leads to the quaint alleyway. The stone gate at the entrance of the alley is carved with the characters, Xining, which was originally a street selling specialty snacks. In the past, before the countdown to blood in Linjiang City, this alley was originally selling tourism specialties and gradually became a popular snack street. There were also many artists singing on the street, thriving and thriving. However, since the countdown to blood began, Xining Alley has gradually declined and is now empty and desolate. Chen Yi pondered for a moment. To the west, you will see a blood-like appearance, and it will lead directly to the location of the black evil energy. There should be a very dangerous presence, so it's best not to go there yet. To the east, there is Longhua Avenue that has been walking all the way. Apart from the indigenous people who have good self-management abilities, there seems to be no special existence, so it appears as an ordinary image. At present, Xining Alley has a creative image and is the most worthwhile place to visit. Thinking of this, Chen Yi quickly selected the road and walked straight down the adjacent overpass. Arrived at the entrance of Xining Alley. End of this chapter. Chapter 6 Grandma Selling Chestnuts You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 Grandma Selling Chestnuts Before the countdown to blood started, there were already many roadside snack stalls on both sides of the road in Xining Alley. But now there are only abandoned vehicles left, scattered haphazardly on the side. Make the already narrow alleys appear more crowded. Chen Yi moved the cart horizontally in front of him, which barely cleared a path. Suddenly, a fragrance permeated from the depths of the Xining Alley. The taste of roasted chestnuts in sugar dot coated heated sand. Chen Yi immediately smelled the aroma of stir fried chestnuts, and his hunger suddenly became stronger in his stomach. He swallowed and his thinking ability suddenly seemed to decline leaving only one thought in his mind, I'm so hungry. Roasted chestnuts in sugar dot coated heated sand with sugar. It smells good. I want to eat. At the end of the alley, a handcart suddenly and slowly moved from the corner, accompanied by hoarse shouts echoing low. Roasted chestnuts in sugar dot coated heated sand with sugar, fresh roasted chestnuts in sugar dot coated heated sand with sugar. 5 coins per kilogram. Hee <laughs> hee, you can eat it for free for the first time, try it for free, and if it's not delicious, don't pay. When Chin Yi opened his eyes again, he only felt a blur in them. Next up. An extra handcart appeared in front of me. A pair of pale, wrinkled and calloused hands held the cart, which was filled with fried roasted chestnuts in sugar dot coated heated sand that were golden, crisp and smelling. The old lady selling chestnuts showed a kind smile. Fresh roasted chestnuts in sugar dot coated heated sand, come and have a taste. 
They are free, fragrant and delicious. Chin Yi felt that his consciousness became erratic from time to time, and his vision around him was becoming blurred. Except for roasted chestnuts in sugar dot coated heated sand with sugar, everything else seemed to be slowly lax. Finally, only fresh roasted chestnuts in sugar dot coated heated sand were left in my eyes. They were red as gold and blood, as if full of fatal temptation. The hunger in the stomach became even more intense. At that moment, it seems like only the desire to eat is left in my mind. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Chen Yi took another step forward. At this moment, a burst of air suddenly came from afar, as if complaining or complaining, and the mournful melody pulled Chen Ye's mind back slightly a thin black fog suddenly seemed to diffuse out of roasted chestnuts in sugar dot coated heated sand with sugar, and immediately fell on Chen Ye's face. Chen Yi suddenly shuddered and felt a chill coming from his back. When he looked at the roasted chestnuts in sugar dot coated heated sand again, he found that there were no chestnuts in the stove at all, just broken fingers. When she looked up again, the old lady who bought chestnuts had a terrifying smile on her face. The opening of the corners of her mouth was presented in a non-human form, almost tilting to the crow's feet. The wrinkles on her face were like wriggling maggots, constantly crisscrossing and crawling on her face. Do you want to buy chestnuts, young man? The old lady's voice no longer became kind, like the sound made by millions of insects rubbing against her throat. Chin Yi felt as if there were countless ants crawling in his ears, itching deeply, and his entire brain was buzzing. My eyes are getting darker and darker, as if my consciousness is about to gradually sink at this point. If you lift your head, you can see the aura of Qian Chin Ye's head, gradually forming a dark mist of ominous aura, faintly surrounding him. And, amidst the black mist, there was also a stream of blood light spreading. That's a sign of impending doom. At this critical moment, Chen Yi gritted his teeth and focused his attention, making every effort to calm his brain. He used his mind's 100,000 tips on how to get along with monsters to quickly think about corresponding strategies. As an beta player, Chen Yi has long had a lot of game intelligence in his mind, and now he needs to stay calm in reality and not lose his composure due to panic. Suddenly, conversations that often occur during beta testing and game storylines come to mind. Chen Yi quickly came up with a solution he quickly lowered his head in shame and his gaze shifted away from the old lady. I don't have money. Roasted chestnuts in sugar dot coated heated sand need 5 coins to buy 1 gene. According to the currency system of the strange era, most of the commodities here can be exchanged with coins, which are universal currencies divided into copper coins, silver coins, and gold coins. 100 copper coins can be exchanged for 1 silver coin. 100 silver coins can be exchanged for 1 gold coin. Copper coins are usually used to exchange for general commodities such as food, water, and other basic items. Silver coins and gold coins have even different commodities that can be exchanged, and can even be exchanged for special features or magical items with extraordinary abilities. Gold coins have a special meaning in the strange era, so they will not be used casually for regular transactions. In the strange age, equivalent exchange is one of the rules followed, and any item exchanged on the premise of exchange is reasonable. Therefore, if you taste grandma's roasted chestnuts in sugar dot coated heated sand with sugar for free, Chen Yi will have to bear the cost. Firstly, there must be currency. If there is currency, it's easy to handle. As long as you pay the value of roasted chestnuts in sugar dot coated heated sand, you can get a fresh food. Eating it can fill the stomach. And there won't be any negative effects. But if there are no coins, trouble will start. Grandma can choose the same item on Chin Yi as a trade item in exchange for the value of roasted chestnuts in sugar dot coated heated sand. If you don't have coins, then choose a personal item. If you only have a set of tattered clothes with little value, then choose skin, flesh, hair, nails if you eat more than one jean of roasted chestnuts in sugar dot coated heated sand, but 10 jean, 20 jean. More than a hundred jean, 
then the surface value of the body is not enough to exchange, you can choose eyes, tongue, kidney, heart Chin Yi tried his best to keep his brain clear and resist the constantly emerging feeling of confusion. The old lady who bought chestnuts seems to have a magical power in her words, which can temporarily make people lose their minds and thus lose their judgment ability. At this point, due to being too hungry, one may only have the ability to eat. So he gulps down roasted chestnuts in sugar dot coated heated sand with sugar. Eating, I'm afraid I don't know how much I'll eat. According to the principle of equivalent exchange, the old lady who bought chestnuts can choose any item from Chin Yi. Including his heart. Upon careful consideration, my spine feels a bit chilly. If it weren't for the music of the Eru coming from the alley just now, it might have been quite unlucky. At this moment, the old lady selling chestnuts smiled and said. It's okay, give it a try. It's free for the first time. Chin Yi thought for a while and said, Next time when I bring a coin, I will buy some extra gene of roasted chestnuts in sugar dot coated heated sand here. Okay, young people should keep their word. The old lady selling chestnuts had a stronger smile. However, the smile on her face had returned to kindness and kindness, she arched her back and slowly pushed the small cart, her figure disappearing into the deep alley. In the distance, there was still a faint shout. Selling chestnuts. Fresh roasted chestnuts in sugar dot coated heated sand with sugar. Do you have any children who want to taste them for free? Chin Yi felt that his desire to eat was no longer as strong. A cool breeze blew past, and a chill came from behind. At this moment, Chin Yi realized that his back had been soaked in cold sweat, and with lingering fear, he said, games and reality are really two different things. Facing the strangeness firsthand, the sense of oppression it brings is completely different. In the strange era, even the most ordinary thing may contain fatal crises. Chen Ye's hunger had disappeared completely, and when he saw himself almost eating the pile of bloody fingers, he felt a pang of nausea. A feeling of wanting to vomit kept coming from my stomach, and I took a few deep breaths before finally calming down. At this moment, the Eru sound came again from the depths of the alley, but the melody became noticeably cheerful, with a hint of melodious and graceful melody, no longer as oppressive as before. Chen Ye's mind moved. Just now, it was the Eru sound that saved my life. He pondered for a moment, then walked towards the direction of the Eru. The sound is getting closer and closer. Turning a few corners again, Chen Ye's gaze suddenly shifted to an old man. The old man sat cross-legged on a dilapidated floor, holding his Eru, and the melodious Eru sound came from here. There is an iron bowl in front of him, with a few coins inside. At the same time, Chen Yi opened the pupils of Qi and found a faint purple aura swirling around the head of the old man with Eru. End of this chapter. Chapter 7 Obtaining a New Identity as a Wandering Musician You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 7 Obtaining a New Identity Wandering Musician Purple Qi Chen Yi felt a little surprised. This is an image of Qi related to Tingda. If it appears on a person's head, it means that the other person may be able to provide benefactor luck assistance to oneself. Moreover, Chin Yi also noticed that on the head of the elderly Eru, besides the purple clouds swirling around, a golden light faintly appeared from the purple light. On the top floor, a faint blue covers the sky, while the outer ring is shrouded in white mist. The sky is as clear as a wash, surrounded by golden scales, and the atmosphere is diverse, surprisingly, there is a hint of golden aura hidden within it. Chin Yi felt extremely surprised. Gold is the symbol of destiny. The aura of the Eru elderly is really too rich. White, blue, purple, gold various auras and auras intertwined and even mixed with gold, are they in charge of destiny. The identity of the elderly Eru immediately became mysterious. Just. For some reason, when Chen Yi saw the aura of luck, he suddenly felt a sense of reunion after a long separation. That inexplicable warmth seemed to connect this aura of luck with Chen Yi's own fortune and aura. 
It's like returning home. Suddenly, Chen Yi realized that his gaze had been lingering on the old man Eru for a while. How could the hatred in the eyes of wanderers not be triggered? The old man with the arrow didn't seem to care about Chen Ye's gaze at all, just pulling the arrow on his own. Chen Yi recognized that the melody of this piece was lullaby and suddenly felt nostalgic. When I was a child, because it was difficult to fall asleep at night, my family crowded into a small room of less than 40 square meters, listening to my parents humming lullabies and slowly falling asleep. The quiet melody comes melodiously, as if bringing memories back to childhood until the melody gradually stops. At this moment, the old man with the arrow turned his gaze to Chin Yi, with a kind expression on his face. He waved and signaled for Chin Yi to come over. Chin Yi pondered for a moment, observing through the pupils of Qi Yun, and found that the aura of Qi Yun above his head not only did not move towards colors related to evil energy such as black and blood, but also had a faint purple charm flowing. Just now, I almost sold myself to an old lady who sells chestnuts. The blood-black evil energy on my head was almost reaching the heavenly spirit cap. However, in the face of elderly people with Eru, similar auras of luck do not exist. Even purple gas is starting to come out. Combining the characteristics of wanderers, the more they walk, the easier it is to encounter help from fellow wanderers. From the clothing of the Eru elderly man, it seems that he is wearing a worn dot out shirt, which has been worn for decades. After countless exposure to wind and sun, the clothes have become wrinkled. Although they look much more complete than what Chin Yi wore, they are still not much better. I believe they must be both wanderers, that's why they are so down and out. And according to their characteristics, being able to receive help from the other party is within the rules. Chin Yi walked over obediently not only because of the purple aura, indicating that the other party may have good luck with him. That warm feeling also made him make such a move. Young man, you have a great talent for music. The old man with the arrows said with a smile. Um. Are you saying that I have five notes incomplete, singing off key, high-pitched ghostly calls, and playing the piano so that my neighbor can come and check the water meter next door? Chen Yi said in his heart that he wanted to say something modest and polite, but after thinking about it, he has already come to the strange era. What's more polite? So, after a moment of contemplation, he said. Are you okay? The elderly Eru man smiled and took out a musical instrument from his pocket, handing it to Chen Yi. You are very talented on the path of music, and this is a gift for you. Chen Yi took a closer look and saw that the double reed woodwind instrument had a thin copper tube at the top, and the hollow part was made of sandalwood. The trumpet in the bowl was yellowed and worn out, and it turned out to be the same color as the begging iron bowl. Swona Chen Yi did not expect that the instrument given to him by the other party was truly a rogue instrument known as the King of Music. Moreover, the structure of this Swona is truly indescribable. It's hard to guess. Whether this old man put the begging bowl on the swona, or if another swona was dismantled and used as a begging bowl. Faced with the generous gift given by the elderly Eru, Chen Yi hesitated. He did not suspect that the other party would harm him, but according to the rules of the strange age, the equivalence exchange theorem is almost ubiquitous. If this theorem is not followed, then fate will make oneself pay the corresponding price. So, Chen Yi did not immediately accept the gift from the Eru elderly man and was about to decline at this moment, the old man with the Eru smiled and said, I'm getting old, I'm not strong enough to play. It's useless to keep this swona by my side. You happen to lack a culinary skill, why not follow the old man and make a living with music? Hee <laughs> hee, I'm already old and useless. Maybe in the future, I'll have to rely on you to perform in order to survive. It can also be considered as leaving me a way out for the elderly. Chen Yi was stunned for a moment, but he didn't expect the old man with the arrow to reveal his true feelings. In this way, it does not violate the theorem of equivalent exchange. The meaning of the arrow elderly is to teach Chen Yi the skill of eating, so that when he grows old, he can also have an apprentice to rely on. However, 
Chin Yi currently lacks a stable source of food, and following the elderly with Eru may help him get through the early stages. After all, the eerie danger of this city is too great. I almost got sent away by the old lady who sells chestnuts just now Chin Yi thought for a moment and felt that following the elderly Eru may not be an unacceptable choice. Firstly, I currently lack a stable source of food. When I first came to a dungeon, Although I had the game rules for internal testing in my mind, after the blood countdown event, the game came to reality and I found that the situation here was somewhat different from that of a regular dungeon. For example, the old lady who sells chestnuts is obviously not a very friendly trick to beginners. If it weren't for the help of the Arab elderly man, I would probably have started with a GG. This kind of difficulty mystery only appears in high difficulty dungeons. This has to make Chen Yi rethink his current situation. Secondly, the elderly people of Eru are both wandering beings, and they are of the same kind and have no fixed place to live. Even if you make a living through music, there won't be a fixed place for performance, and you can unleash the characteristics of a wanderer. Moreover, you can steadily increase your eerie value through wandering. If there is no stable source of income, it is impossible to wander around every day and wander around 24 hours a day, right? Based on Chen Ye's current judgment, temporarily following the elderly Eru is the best choice. This is also a manifestation of the characteristics of wanderers. Finally, Chen Ye took the swona from the old man of the Eru. Ding! The blood colored phone suddenly popped up with a prompt. Congratulations on obtaining that musician feature wanderer plus musician equals wanderer musician. You have obtained a new identity. Wandering musician. Weird value plus 500. End of this chapter. Chapter 8. Two play roots. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 8 Two play roots unexpectedly obtained a new identity. Chen Yi was suddenly surprised. He didn't expect that the swona given to him by the elderly Eru person actually contained a musician characteristic. This is definitely a special item. Even in beta games, feature items are very rare and rare. As long as it can be obtained, there is a huge improvement for players. According to the feature rules of Strange Era, the upgrade of general features can be divided into three directions, the first direction is to absorb the characteristics of the item and obtain additional accessory features. The second direction is to integrate with identity and profession to obtain a new identity. The inherent features will be upgraded or changed. The third direction is to use the item to create items related to its characteristics. However, these three directions are not optional, but rather regular. Many features have bound identity professions, and if the identity is not unlocked, it is highly likely that the feature will not be absorbed. Either keep it in the warehouse and wait for future use. Either make it into an extraordinary item and use it in another form to exert its unique effects. If the player's identity and profession happen to be suitable for absorbing this feature, then it is divided into the first and second situations. Add new features. Alternatively, the fusion of features. When two characteristics are combined to obtain a new identity, the inherent characteristics will undergo significant changes. Generally, as long as it can be integrated, it will develop in a positive direction. When Chen Yi opens the panel again, identity has changed from wanderer to wandering musician. The characteristics have also changed. Poor eyes wandering sound the wandering sound. The sound of any of your instruments carries a mournful and gentle tone, and listeners can't help but feel nostalgia, sadness, pain, and similar emotions. When the audience listens to the complete song, they need to pay the corresponding performance fee for you. Apprentice Musician, New When you repeatedly practice a certain instrument, it will strengthen the ability of related features and increase the eerie value. Luck When wandering, it is easy to gain special luck, and the more you walk, the more you can get good luck. Wandering Heart When in contact with fellow wanderers, it is easy to receive friendly help. At this moment, 
the negative characteristic of poverty has been removed and replaced with a positive characteristic, the sound of wandering, this feature is pretty good. After reading the feature description, Chen Yi smiled knowingly and suddenly felt relieved. Having the characteristic of a wandering heart is equivalent to having an additional means of livelihood. As long as the audience can listen to the entire song, they need to pay a performance fee for themselves. This is a rule that comes with most art-related characteristics. For example, artists, film directors, novel authors these professions will receive corresponding rewards based on specific rules after creating works using their characteristics. Equivalent exchange, refuse free prostitution. Of course, Chin Yi also knows that different professions can actually be integrated. For example, if the profession of thief combines reader and recorder, a new profession will emerge, when Chao Gong, of course, although this profession has the ability to copy texts, it can also lead to hatred towards the creator sequence profession. If recognized, it is basically pursued to the ends of the earth. There are pros and cons to the characteristics of any profession. Of course, the more professions you integrate, the more you can switch between two or three the shortcomings of that profession will be reduced, and various characteristics may also undergo transformation during growth. But in order to perform a second round, it is necessary to accommodate at least four different characteristics and possess two complete career characteristics in order to meet the conditions for a second round. At present, Chen Ye's wandering musician still belongs to a career change, but it is mostly integrated with Swona. Stronger than a regular career change. Since the removal of the poverty gaze, the remaining four characteristics appear to be relatively neutral. If used well, the positive effects can far outweigh the negative impacts. At the same time, the eerie value also increased by 500 points. Open the leaderboard and take a look. Chen Yi suddenly realized that his ranking had skyrocketed to below 100 in an instant. Ranking 99. As long as you drag the list to the last row, you can see the name Chen Yi. The bottom of the list will show up to 100. Now, the eerie value of the 100th place is 580. Chen Ye's eerie value is 600. In the early stages, everyone's growth rate was very slow. Even with the additional support of this month's ranking, the speed of improvement is still slow. Why did I suddenly get on the list? Chen Yi said roast in his heart. Of course, he hoped his eerie value would increase faster, but it was unexpected to be on the list so quickly. As the saying goes, people fear fame and pigs fear strength. There are only a few names in the top 100 of the ranking, with the top and bottom being the most prominent. At this point, the top player on the leaderboard is named by Chen, whose eerie value has reached as high as 3,000 points, and low dot level players can only look up to him. Only the other top 10 experts would stare at this person's name. However, the name at the end of the hundredth is watched by countless pairs of eyes. Although the position is reciprocal, the position is still the most awkward, with no corresponding resources and being coveted by more people when faced with someone who is 20% or 30% stronger than oneself, a desire to challenge arises in one's heart. But if the opponent's strength is a thousand or ten thousand times that of oneself, then this desire to challenge will be completely crushed by the insurmountable gap, and admiration will only emerge in the heart. Any jealousy or contempt will no longer exist in this huge gap. Unless that person lacks a correct understanding of themselves. Ah, why did you suddenly make it on the list? At least give me some psychological preparation. Chin Yi sighed, and now this ranking is the most awkward. Even if we push forward a few more places, it may not be so I dot catching. Well, if a player who cannot increase his eerie value by other players can hear Chen Ye's thoughts. I don't know if he will be beaten to death when he goes out. Open the Destiny Jianghu. As expected. On the public screen, many players have already mentioned the name Chen Yi. Why did another expert rush up on the leaderboard? How long has it been since the arrival of this terrible game, and the top 100 ranked players have already reached hundreds of strange values? 
How did this all happen? The top three players, Bai Chen, Hua Xiao, and Bing Bing, are all four-digit eerie values, making them even more monsters. Did they start with the rockets? How could they obtain the eerie points so quickly? My profession is a chef. Now, let alone kitchen utensils, I don't even have a piece of meat. Play the role of a ghost. Upstairs, although you don't have kitchen utensils, you still have meat. I don't know if that chef is a girl. If not, the extra piece of meat on his body might even be used to make ham. Are you really a devil? Dot. The public screen is extremely lively, with hundreds of messages emerging every second, discussing various things. Of course, the emergence of Chen Yi only briefly sparked a wave of discussion. In the initial stage, the overall number of players who can quickly accumulate strange values is still relatively small. Everyone will pay more attention to the names on the leaderboard. I am still curious about how to improve my strength and ranking by following the rule of playing to obtain eerie values. Becoming a wandering musician, my luck and wandering heart have not disappeared, but have added the characteristics of wandering sound and apprentice musician. Isn't that saying? Now, not only can I increase my eerie value by walking, but I can also improve my instrument playing skills and unlock two playing roots. Chen Ye's gaze suddenly lit up, and he realized that the characteristics of the wanderer were quite miserable at first, but after integrating a little bit of characteristics, it was immediately different. Although it's not about achieving transformation, at least the upgrade speed is not low. 2. Acting Roots only a very small number of professional identities can be compatible with different playing styles. Compared to other professions, although the wandering musician may not be very strong, there are special aspects to it. Without delay, Chen Yi immediately picked up the swona in his hand, intending to play this long pipe and enhance his oral skills. End of this chapter. Chapter 9 Are you here to take life with your swona? You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 9 Are you here to take life with your swona? Chapter 9 Are you here to take life with your swona? In fact, Chen Yi has not studied swona. His knowledge of music theory is basically at the level of a novice. I have had very few opportunities to play musical instruments in my life, but I have only touched the piano when visiting relatives and classmates from affluent families. But in the Eerie era, if one obtains the corresponding profession characteristics, they can generally obtain relevant abilities. For example, acquiring sequence abilities related to chefs can enhance cooking skills for most features, or having more knowledge related to culinary skills in mind. However, the wandering musician unlocked by Chen Yi leans towards the ability of the apprentice sequence. The meaning of an apprentice is to learn humbly, work hard, persevere, and eventually gain something. If it is a sequence ability related to apprentices, players will not be able to obtain corresponding knowledge and need to improve their skills from scratch. But the speed of progress will be very fast. Although Chen Yi was not able to acquire the technical skills related to Swona in the first place. But with the characteristics of an apprentice musician, as long as you practice repeatedly, the growth space will be higher. Chen Yi aimed at the trachea of the Swona and blew hard. The sound, like a chainsaw, sounded from the Swona as if it were electrified and sparks were emitted. This. Chen Yi almost startled himself. My musical talent is not that bad, is it? Can blowing a swona also make this kind of pressure? Turning his head, he noticed a hint of shock in the eyes of the old man with the arrow, who was looking towards him. He covered his left chest with his right hand and a slight expression of pain on his face. It wasn't until the sound dissipated that he gradually calmed down. The expression on his face was as if he had just swallowed a piece of authentic nine turn large intestine. You kid. Have a great future. The old man with air touched his chest and took a deep breath in his airway. Cough, this is the first time, we still need to try more. Chen Ye's face showed embarrassment. However. 
As he was about to take a second puff, the old man with the arrow immediately waved his hand. Why don't you go somewhere else to practice? This place is small and not suitable for you to play. I'll go take a breath first, and when it gets dark at dusk you'll come back here to find me. After speaking, the old man Eru got up and hurriedly left here. Is it that scary? Chin Yi let out a bitter smile. Even when facing the old lady selling chestnuts just now, the Eru old man didn't even bother to take a glance. However, in the eyes of novice players, the old lady selling chestnuts is already a very dangerous trick. How did you make yourself seem even more terrifying now? It's all so good. I possess both the characteristics of luck and apprentice musician. If we were to walk and play at the same time, wouldn't it be possible to play both types of roles simultaneously? This seems to be more in line with the portrayal style of wanderer musician. Chin Yi thought of this and immediately began to try. He took a few more steps. Suddenly surprised by my hiking efficiency, which has doubled compared to just now. Just a small step forward, now it can teleport up to 3 meters. Even though it may seem like a leisurely stroll, the buildings on both sides of the field of view quickly regress, and the buildings next to it are thrown behind, like skating, but extremely smooth. I couldn't even feel the straight movement, as if I was stuck at such a distance. After increasing the eerie value, my wanderer's boots once again received an improvement in ability. Now you can reach a distance of 3 meters in one step, even if it's hiking, it's easy to walk 30,000 meters a day. The task of hiking 100,000 meters per week without any unexpected changes midway is not a difficult task. Chen Yi gave a brief evaluation of the abilities he currently possesses. Immediately after, he took a deep breath and began to walk three meters at a time while playing the swona. The sound of a chainsaw echoed through the entire alley of Xining once again. Chen Yi felt like his ears were almost deaf. That's not right. After practicing, why do I feel that the sound of swona seems even more unpleasant? Chen Yi is a bit depressed. Isn't it true that the characteristics of an apprentice musician will strengthen his abilities? Why does the more you blow, the worse it becomes? After carefully reading the description of the features again, Chen Ye's gaze fell on that line of description, the sound of any of your instruments carries a mournful and graceful tone, and listeners cannot help but feel nostalgia, sadness, pain. Related Emotions Pain 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 Sleeping trough. Can't I continue to practice and become a deadly swona? Chen Yi suddenly felt that he was walking further and further on the path of Master Yin Lu. Are you sure someone can listen to and play all the songs themselves and pay for the performance fee? At this moment, a click 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 sound came from the depths of the alley in Xining. At the corner of the alley, Three middle dot aged men with beer bellies swayed their bottles and walked forward with arrogant and drunken steps. However, their heads did not have faces, but instead grew various strange and sharp objects. The man on the left has a long iron rod on his face. The man on the right has a sharp kitchen knife on his face. The man in the middle had an even more terrifying appearance, with a two meter long chainsaw on his face. The movement of the electric saw is exactly the same as the swona. Could it be the swona sound that makes these people think they are of the same kind? Chen Yi can't help roast, but at the moment, the people in front seem to have bad intentions. Chen Ye's gaze quickly swept over the three of them, and he immediately confirmed that they were the eerie natives of the gluttony sequence. The overeater sequence can endow players with powerful devouring ability and assimilate with swallowed items. Generally, only one item can be selected in the early stage. It can be a knife, an electric stick, a gatling machine gun the later, gluttony monster, even capable of swallowing monsters with accompanying pollution, is a very powerful and domineering sequential profession. However, the side effects of the binge eater sequence can make the player's emotions very irritable. In extreme emotions, one may lose their rational ability, lose control when eating, and easily consume various harmful substances to the body. 
But the advantage is that even if you eat the pile of chestnuts just now, there won't be any problems. There is basically no problem of eating bad stomachs. You can swallow anything and improve your abilities through eating. For players in the early stages, the overeater sequence is also one of the sequences that improves very quickly. But as an enemy, it would be quite unfriendly. The three gluttonous eaters were clearly very dissatisfied with Chen Ye's playing of the Swona. They were not as humble as the pockmarked man or as talkative as the old lady selling chestnuts. At this moment, there is already an intention to take action. Run. Chen Yi took a deep breath and, before the three gluttonous eating monsters showed any signs of action, he instantly fled. End of this chapter. Chapter 10 New Wandering Posture, Strange Value Increased by Several Decades You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 10 New Wandering Posture, Strange Value Increased by Several Decades Chapter 10 New Wandering Posture, Strange Value Increased by Several Decades Chen Yi was wearing the wanderer's boots, walking three meters away at the same speed as flying, and in an instant, he threw the three gluttony monsters far away. However, those three gluttony monsters became even more angry, as if feeling extremely ashamed and frustrated that they couldn't catch up with the little guy in front of them. It's like talking about their abilities in this area, they can't even compare to a little kid. For a fierce man, it is nothing but a great shame. It has also accelerated its pace. The chainsaw on the man's face began to spin wildly, making a piercing and unpleasant sound, like a fierce ghost roar. But Chen Ye's speed is very fast, and the distance between hunters and prey will only be thrown further and further away. Next to him, the wooden stick man and the kitchen knife man were obviously much slower than the chainsaw man, and after chasing for a few steps, they were thrown away. Only the roaring sound of the chainsaw man starting the engine followed closely behind. Chen Ye's eyebrows furrowed slightly. He didn't expect the speed of this gluttonous eating to be so fast. If it weren't for these wanderer's boots that gave them stronger escape abilities, they would have been caught up long ago. However, a speed of three meters per step is not Chen Ye's limit. He was just maintaining a wandering posture, increasing the panel values while walking. The speed naturally slowed down. But if you switch to a running posture, then the true speed will be fully released. At this point, Chen Yi was already too busy with tasks. The sequence of binge eaters has stronger physical abilities, as they can eat anything and grow rapidly, and their abilities are also strengthened based on the food they eat. Obviously, among the three binge eating monsters, the chainsaw man belongs to their leader. Obtain the most resources and increase the ability the most. Even basic abilities have surpassed ordinary tricks by a large margin. Without any props, the speed is still at the same level as Chen Yi, making it difficult to shake off. Next second. Chen Yi unleashed all his speed, ran to the limit, took big strides, and walked five meters in one step. Almost in the blink of an eye, his figure had already run thirty meters away. However, Chen Yi was surprised to find that these values could be recorded in the stage task. After running a long distance like this, the eerie value instantly increased by 50 points. Combining the improvement of playing the Swona before, Chen Yi now has 700 eerie points, and the improvement speed is extremely fast. On the ranking list, there were originally newcomers who took the top spot, squeezing Chen Yi out of the top 100. But now, his name has jumped to 95 in an instant, adding dozens of eerie points more than the top 100. Wait. Isn't it necessary to be in a wandering posture to be counted by the stage task pedometer? But running so hard, how could it still be recorded in the pedometer and get a strange increase in value? Chen Yi was a bit surprised. Ding. At that moment, he noticed that his blood-colored phone had sent him a message and immediately clicked on it to take a look, congratulations on discovering a new wandering posture being chased on the streets is also a part of wandering please enjoy this escape process to the fullest Chen Yi was slightly taken aback. It turned out that when a blood-colored phone encounters an unknown situation, 
there is still a chance for it to send itself a message. The content inside is roughly an explanation of the situation. This tone seems a bit lacking. But at least, Chen Yi knew that running away was also a part of wandering. His gaze suddenly lit up slightly. The wanderer himself is destitute, and being chased clearly puts him in even more difficult situations. Therefore, running away quickly during this period not only does not violate the principle of wanderer playing, but also deepens the significance of playing. Not only does the movement speed increase, but the increased eerie value also increases for the same distance of displacement. Chen Yi previously calculated that walking one kilometer on foot can increase his eerie value by about 10 points. However, just now I only ran a distance of about a thousand kilometers, and the increase in eerie value has already reached as much as 50. In the stage of being chased, one's eerie value is equivalent to a five-fold increase in growth rate. Moreover, this increase is not based on the premise that running is much faster than walking efficiency. Therefore, Chen Ye's current rate of increase in eerie values is at least 20 to 30 times faster than usual. If you can push your running speed to the limit, it is estimated that there will be a 50-fold increase in speed. Thank you, Brother Chainsaw. Chen Yi almost burst out laughing. If it weren't for the help of Brother Chainsaw, it would probably take a long time for me to know that the portrayal method of Wanderer still has this posture. Excited by emotions, Chen Yi quickly ran out a hundred meters away, seeing the figure of the chainsaw man almost disappear. Chen Yi quickly slowed down the pace. However, after the chainsaw man was taken away from the distance, his angry emotions seemed to dissipate. My footsteps paused slightly, pondering whether I wanted to let this kid go. After all, the other party is only practicing Swona at a reasonable time, although the sound is indeed too unpleasant. In their own language system, it probably means the same as, you stinky bitch, your horse is gone, get back to your mother's womb and remake it, but upon closer examination, it seems that that kid didn't mean to that Swona is an external prop, not just one that grows on the mouth like oneself. Even if we chase hard, the speed is not enough. However, Chen Yi felt a sense of retreat when he saw the chainsaw man, and was displeased on the spot. Finally, a wealthy tycoon who can brush off eerie values for himself has arrived. How can we say that if we let it go, we'll let it go? He immediately picked up the swona in his hand and continued to play. The piercing sound once again spread throughout the alleys of Xining. The chainsaw on the man's head spun at high speed again, making a buzzing sound, sharp and piercing, as if cursing back in some meaningless language. Seeing Chen Yi still playing the swona vigorously the chainsaw man finally couldn't help but run towards Chen Yi again, with even greater strides than before. His steps became even more exaggerated, as if he could fly and jump in place with just one step. However, the front foot had not yet landed, and with a strong push from the back foot, it seemed as if it was just a heel tapping, and the body had already taken off. The running posture was extremely exaggerated, which can be described in one word, Qixing Seed. Chen Yi smiled faintly, and when the chainsaw man was only thirty meters away from him, he suddenly stepped out again with force, taking a few steps to throw the chainsaw man to the back of the alley. At the same time, he kept running at a constant speed, keeping the figure of the chainsaw man at a distance of about fifty meters from himself, while playing the swona the chainsaw man's chainsaw turned violently again, roaring even more fiercely, and his walking posture was like a mad dog. Strange value plus 50. Strange value plus 50. In this state, Chen Ye's eerie value has achieved an extremely fast growth rate, almost every 10 minutes, it can achieve a 50% increase. This kind of increase, even if it ranks in the top 100 of the ranking list, can still be among the top, and few opponents can match it. At this moment, Chen Ye's ranking suddenly entered a stage of rapid growth. From 95th place to 90th place, and then to 85th place all players in the Eerie era saw Chen Ye's Eerie values and rankings rising at an incredible speed, like going crazy, instantly causing a wave of discussion in the Destiny Jianghu. End of this chapter